swarmed by her peers and left bloodied and bruised. A 15-year-old Surrey girl was forced to kiss her attacker's shoes. Oh, I'm sorry. The incident from earlier this month was filmed and then shared on social media. It was disgusting um, seeing not only just my daughter being physically hurt, um, but the humiliation and the degrading they did to her after that. The victim's mother, whose identity we are withholding to protect her daughter, says the physical wounds are healing, but her daughter is struggling mentally. Like what was going through their head? Like what makes you think that this is okay to do this to anybody? These all um, look, feel like real weapons. These are just some of the replica guns and weapons seized from teens by the Vancouver police in recent weeks in what they are calling a disturbing uptick in violence. It includes two attacks in the Carisdale neighborhood, where more than a dozen teens assaulted other youths at knife point. In another instance, a boy was lured to Stanley Park and beaten by a group of teens. And this CCTV video shows a pellet gun being held to a boy's head before a fight breaks out. We're really trying to get a, a big picture handle on how big this problem is. It's something that we started to see building uh, throughout the pandemic. In Victoria, police are reporting groups of more than 100 youth gathering downtown, damaging property and committing assaults. Many of the youth are telling us that after COVID, there's really not a lot of things for youth to do. Uh, so this uh, for them is an outlet. But experts say it's more complicated than that. We're seeing a lot of mental illness too. So aggression is, you know, part of that package. And it's those concerns that fueled an anti-bullying rally this weekend in Surrey, a show of support for victims left dealing with the scars of these crimes. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.